All eyes on the Abuja International Airport as the airport authorities keep their hands on deck on the repair of the runway ahead of the April 19 deadline. As the D-Day beckons, how prepared is the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria after days of inconvenience by flight passengers? It's question time. Welcome to the program. I'm Benga Ashiru. You may also join in this conversation by sending us your comments on our various social media platforms showing on your screen. A few weeks ago, Nigeria's Minister of State for Aviation says he would resign if the Abuja airport runway is not completed before the deadline of April 19. Channel TV crew caught up with the managing director of the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria, Engineer Saleh Dunama. It says 80% of the repairs had been completed. But what happens to the 20% of the finishing phase that might just be the most complex and delicate of the task? Join us in this exclusive interview. From what we have done, we have considered the critical elements of the project. Uh, those that are non-critical are those that are yet to be uh, done. The entire completion program, as said yesterday, was at about 80%. So from our schedule and from the program of works, 80% um, and if you look at the number of days that we have to go to 19th for the opening, uh, we are on good um, uh, 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 time uh, for completion. Uh, all the other elements that we consider critical are almost 100% done, except of course the uh, laying, the installation of the asphaltic concrete. And that uh, installation of asphaltic concrete uh, we have done uh, uh, over 80 percent, so um, that will be uh, completed within the next few days. But of course there are other things that we need to do uh, which is critical, uh, like the airfield lighting system. The airfield lighting system is also following behind, it's also about 78 to 80 percent also. Uh, the only thing that is not done, uh, that uh, we are preparing for it now, is the installation of the runway markings. And these runway markings are not critical, it's not a critical element because it's very simple, it has no uh, uh, serious um, uh, issues in terms of the installation, it's just painting, it's just like you finish your house, you know what color to apply in any corner, so uh, just like painting a house is not a critical uh, issue you can still use the house without the painting but in the case of um, the runway markings they are important because they are visual aids for the pilot uh, but installation is not a problem should the repair have taken this long considering the pains and hardship many nigerians have been subjected to was it really necessary if the writings have been done well the the thing is that a lot of public uh, uh, do not know uh, what has been going on on the runway all these years. Um, we have been carrying out a lot of maintenance. Uh, sometime in 2014, uh, we had to close the runway for two consecutive weekends in order to do uh, uh, some serious repairs on it. But um, of course, having done that, uh, the runway keeps deteriorating and uh, we need to do a more serious repair. Uh, and uh, you know Abuja doesn't have any alternative uh, runway. So the only alternative left for us is to close it if we are to do a proper major repairs, which include uh, special structural repairs, uh, uh, of course an overlay of the entire surface, and uh, reinstallation of airfield lighting, and uh, reinstallation of the markings. So if you look at these L uh, items of work, they are very serious and uh, we need to do it uh, and once and for all and uh, uh, th that's why it took this time to do and you know closing an airport where you don't have a, an alternative runway is very difficult so the planning had to go in for us to move to Kaduna uh, to transfer the traffic to Kaduna before we can now have a window to close this airport and work on it properly. Considering the huge volume of traffic to the Abuja airport are you considering constructing another an alternative airport? Uh, we don't need to have an alternative airport per se, but we need to have an alternative runway in Abuja. Uh, federal Airport Authority of Nigeria and indeed uh, the Federal Minister of Aviation have tried to do this. Uh, in 2010, uh, we started a process uh, for the construction of a second runway. Unfortunately, uh, that process was terminated because of uh, 
political reasons. What political reasons are these? Uh, well, of course, uh, uh, it was political because uh, we needed the second round. Everybody knows that uh, Abuja, uh, as a city, uh, requires an alternative runway. So we needed a second runway uh, in Abuja. But of course, uh, the National Assembly uh, had uh, some issues with that uh, process, and um, uh, it was uh, terminated. Uh, that's why I call it uh, political. Could that be? an extension of the fears and widespread speculation that the diversion to Kaduna Airport was politically motivated. Uh, I don't understand when you say the uh, uh, upgrade of, uh, of um, Kaduna Airport. Uh, Kaduna Airport has nothing to do uh, with this. Uh, we've, we just found it um, uh, reasonable that uh, Kaduna has all the requirements that uh, can take uh, the traffic uh, of Abuja. Uh, so we just moved there. It's the nearest alternative that has all the things that we require uh, in considering the movement of the traffic from Abuja uh, to Kaduna. But uh, uh, for the uh, uh, termination of the process of second runway in Abuja, Kaduna has nothing to do with it. So what political reasons could this be? Because you just affirmed that there was a political reason for not the non-approval of the alternative runway in the Abuja International Airport. I'm not a politician, uh, Benga, so, so what the pol political yes, reasons. political reasons because the National Assembly truncated that process. So that's why I said for political reasons, because they looked at other things. We looked at the technical issues and based on that, the process was stopped. So. And you never bothered to find out what was their reason? They never gave, gave any reason? No, today, uh, as, as we speak... Plan, you never bothered to find out? As we speak today, Benga, the National Assembly has told us that we should go ahead with the process of uh, 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 the construction of the second runway in Abuja. So we are going ahead. So when are you starting that? We have started already. We are putting our uh, documents together and uh, seeking the appropriate approval from the appropriate authorities in order to continue. Have the contractors